Good morning and welcome to the first fifth Sunday of 2021 and our Women's Day service. On behalf of our pastor, Dr. B.E. McAllister and First Lady Shirley McAllister, we'd like to welcome you and thank you for joining us on our virtual worship experience today. We trust that you will be blessed by the word and the worship. Please feel free to like and share our live stream on any of your social media platforms, such as Facebook, our church app, and YouTube. Our scripture states in Psalms 121, I will lift up mine eyes into the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this day. Father, we ask that you look on us, bless our service, bless everyone that has joined in today's broadcast. Please let your word go forth and bless every heart and every home. In Jesus' name, amen. Good morning, good morning. It's so good to be back into the house of prayer this morning to our fifth Sunday, the first fifth Sunday of 2021. We're giving God the praise for everything and I'm just here this morning just to say I miss all of you and to introduce our speaker for today. We are so blessed to have a woman of God and a very dear friend of mine. She can hold her own. She is a wife a mother, a grandmother, and she knows the word of God. We are so blessed today to have none other the speaker but Evangelist Vanessa Macklin. 
God bless you, Saints Community Church of God in Christ. We give honor to Dr. Bruce McAllister, Lady Shirley McAllister, and to you all the saints and friends. What an honor and a privilege it is to come to greet you on this Sunday morning. Our scripture text, Psalms 119.71. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I might learn your statutes. Let us pray. Our Father God, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your goodness, your love, your kindness. We thank you for your protective hand and mercy. We thank you, God, for how you watched over us, how you spared the hand of death, how you made the enemy behave. And for this, we say thank you. And now, God, we ask that you allow the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart. Let it be acceptable in thy sight. In the name of Jesus, God's Son, and for his sake, and that all the people of the Lord say amen. Every morning through FaceTime, I get a chance to share with my youngest daughter, Jessica, and granddaughter, Gloria Skye. Gloria is 10 months old and starting to stand and slowly take those first steps. I see Gloria standing alone. I see Gloria reaching for her mother. I watch Gloria stumble over and fall. Gloria is a grandchild, but I remember when Jessica and her siblings started walking. I think I felt more pain than they did during that pre-walking, those pre-walking days. I watched them stumble again, I watched them fall, but they never gave up, regardless to how often they fell, and they did fall over and over and over again, but they were relentless, and because of that action, they all walked. As adults, we can learn from toddlers and never say, fail. Never say fail. To fail is to be unsuccessful in achieving one's goal. Neglect to do something, give away under stress, inability to form a normal function, to fall short, or to leave undone. The entire world is in a perpetual state. Trouble is everywhere. For this reason, lockdown is a new norm. But in the midst of all of this, we shall never say fail. We should not give up. We should not throw in the towel, but keep pressing onward. Remember, you are not alone in this. People fail in their trying, but we get up and we keep going. Try looking at failure as a learning experience. If nothing else you've learned, this particular action does not work. Next time, do it better or try something different. Determination and failure leads to success. Let's look at the life of a few people. Sir James Dyson, over 5,126 prototypes until he made his successful vacuum cleaner. Steven Spielberg, rejected twice by Southern California School of Cinnamon Artists. The school was wrong about him and he built, and they built an honor, a building out of him. By the way, his gross is more than $9 billion. Thomas Edison was told by his teacher he was too stupid to learn anything. Edison went on to hold more than 1,000 patents, including the phonograph and the electric lamp. Walt Disney, local Kansas newspaper, told him he lacked imagination and had no good ideas. Undeterred, Walt went on to create the culture icon that bears his name today. Walt Disney, Disney World. Albert Einstein, as a child, he did not speak until he was four, a late reader, and they thought he was mentally handicapped. He went on to win a Nobel Prize and altered the world's approach to physics. J.K. Rowling, from welfare, depression, divorce, single mother to award-winning novel. Abraham Lincoln, had many, many failures, and, brought, and they were broad and numerous. He achieved the unique feat of leaving for war as a captain and returning as the lowest military rank a private. He had many failed businesses attempt, but Lincoln never stopped. Lincoln ran for political offices, made several failed attempts before he became the 16th president of these United States. Jerry Steinfeld, a young comedian's first time on stage, froze and was booed 
off the stage. He returned the following night, and from there he went on to become one of the most successful comedians of all time. Theodore Seuss Gilso, much loved children's author, had his first book rejected by 27 different publishers. They said his books weren't good enough for their publishing, but he went on to sell more than 600 million copies worldwide. Oprah Winfrey was fired from her first TV job as an anchor in Baltimore, but now she owns her own TV channel, and may I say, she is a billionaire. Stephen King's first book, rejected 30 times, he dumped the book in the trash. His wife retrieved the book and encouraged him to resubmit it, to which it led to his first book and spawned his illustrious career. Elvis Presley, after his first appearance, they told him to go back to truck driving. He went on to become the world's soul, the world's biggest star, with le when, and his legacy still lives on. Michael Jordan, another one. As a teen, Michael, as a teen, Michael was cut from his high school basketball team. Since then, Michael has had six championships, five MVPs, and the greatest basketball player of all times. Michael said, I have missed over 9,000 shots in my career. I have lost over 3,300 games. On 26 occasions, I have been entrusted to take the game-winning shot, and I missed. I have failed over and over and over again in my life, and that's why I succeed. We can name others, Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Colonel Harlan David Sanders, H. R.H. Macy's, Vera Wayne, Sidney Porter, Fred Astaire, Harrison Ford, Winston Churchill, Henry Ford, Tyler Perry, and the list goes on. But my brothers and sisters, we shall never say fail. When we read the 37th chapter of Genesis, we read the story of Joseph. Joseph, a 17-year-old young man, full of dreams, full of lives, had his father's love that caused jealousy in his family. Don't you know, saints, jealousy is cruel as the grave. Joseph was dumped by his brothers, forsaken by his family, falsely accused by Potiphar's wife, in prison, out of prison, but Joseph never lost his ability to trust the Lord, even in difficulties and depression, depressing situations. Joseph remained strong, and he finally experienced the victory that led to the deliverance of his own people. In spite of Joseph's tragic trials, God had a plan. Joseph went from the pit to prison to the chief leading officer in the land. When difficulties come, remember, trials are necessary for our spiritual growth. The first chapter of James reminds us to consider ourselves fortunate when all kinds of trials come our way. For we know that when our faith, we face succeed in facing such trials, the result is ability to endure. Face the facts. Everyone is not your friend. Remember when we were in kids years ago, way back in the day, yes, way back in the day, Kids used to write a letter, and on this letter it said, do you like me? And then there was a little box, one said yes, and one said no. Well, when I was a child, I thought as a child. I acted as a child. But saints, we are no longer children. We're mature adults facing world issues. Don't run, don't hide. Don't pretend it's not happening. Face the issues. We have all heard or used the expression, it is what it is. Deal with it. It may be frustrating, it may be embarrassing or challenging, but the sooner you face your problems with the power of God, you can go through and become an overcomer. Philippians 14, 4 and 13 says, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. I have the strength to face all conditions by the power of Christ that Christ gives me. I can do all these things the power, through the power of the one who gives me strength. Wherever, whatever I have, wherever I am, 
I can make it through anything in the one who makes me who I am. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. He is my strength. He is my daily guide. He leads me. He protects me. Remember, God still loves you. God loves you more than you can imagine. He loves you so much that he gave his only son that you and I could have a chance to the tree of life. God loves us. So God has the power to love. He gives us love. He gives us his love. God is available to us 24-7. Jeremiah 3 and 33 says, Call to me and I will answer you. I will tell you unsearchable things you do know that I can. God knows who you are. Every head on your hair is numbered. He knows what you need and he is waiting for us to leave all our worries to him because he cares. Again, he is waiting for us to leave all our worries to him because he cares. Well, what do you mean? All your worries. Take time. Go through the list. Take time. Write down every worry and concern and give it to the Lord. Remind yourself to give it back to him. He's waiting to hear from us. He's waiting to hear that list. God will give comfort. The Lord is near to those who are discouraged. He saves those who have lost hope. What kind of God do we serve? A God that gives hope. A God that gives comfort. A God that has never lost a case. If we have the right attitude, God will direct us our paths. Always be humble. Be gentle. Be patient. Show love by being tolerant to one another. Maybe we should go back and practice the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have others to do unto you. God is concerned about you. He, God, God is concerned about you. He leads us into the path of righteousness. He leads us into the pool streams of water. He gives us strength. He guides. He gives us the right path. He has promised. Even if we go through the deepest, darkest, we will not be afraid. Why? For the Lord is with us. We have the shepherd's rod and we have the shepherd's staff to protect us. Your word says, you prepare a banquet for me where all my enemies can see me. You welcome me and you honor me as a guest and you fill my cup. Surely goodness and mercy, mercy, kindness, compassion, forgiveness, long suffering will follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. My brothers and sisters, we are mighty warriors. The Lord is your God is with you. His power gives you victory. The Lord will take delight in you and his love will give you new life. Continue to love God. Continue to listen to his voice, his still, small voice. Focus on his commandments. Repent from all your sins. Lord, forgive me. I confess my sins, even the ones you don't know. Ask God to forgive you of the sins that you are not aware of. And let God minister to you. Let God take control of your heart. Because my sisters and my brothers, we shall never say fail. We are living through turbulent times. It is rough. It is tough. This did not catch God off by surprise. It caught us, but not God. Remember, I can do all things through Christ because we have his strength. I remember the old song the saints used to sing, I need thee every hour. Most gracious Lord, no tender voice like thine can afford. I need thee, oh, I need thee. Every hour, I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior, I come to thee. He satisfies, joy he supplies my life 
would be worthless without you. All things in Jesus I find. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you. And right now, God, we ask you to help us to ask you for strength. You said in your word that you would give it to us. You said that you would never leave us or forsake us. And God, we thank you because we're standing on your word. We're dependent on you to not fail. We're dependent on you to guide us, to be our comfort, to be our closest friend, the one that sticks closer than a brother. And God, we thank you because through you, we shall never say fail. We will stand on your promise. We will give you glory. We will give you thanks. All power is in your hand. And we praise you for it now. And God, you said in everything, give thanks. Regardless to what we're facing in our lives, regardless to what we're going through right now, we just want to take time and say thank you. We are, list may be many, but God, you said give thanks. And as we read that list off to you, as we take time to write our list, we say thank you one by one. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. But most of all, we thank you for your son, Jesus, who gave his life. He sacrificed himself that we may have a chance to the tree of life. And again, for this, we say thank you. And now, God, we ask that you touch every listening ear, every hearing heart. Can encourage them, God. Help them to know that they can make it. Help them to know that you can make it step by step with the Lord's help. And God will give your name the glory in all the place. And these are the blessings we say. Thank God. Amen. What a word this morning that we've heard from the first lady of the NorCal Metropolitan Jurisdiction. We want to express thanks this morning to missionary Vanessa Macklin for sharing with us and blessing us here, blessing the Saints Community Church family and the onlookers this morning. What a powerful, encouraging word. She reminds us where we're headed and where we're going. And if the Lord leads us, we're going to make it. The old saints used to sing a song, something about it, and they sometimes would say, Let Jesus lead you. Let Jesus lead you. Let Jesus lead you all the way, all the way from earth to heaven. Let Jesus lead you all the way. He's a mighty good leader. He's a mighty good leader. He's a mighty good leader. All the way, all the way from earth to heaven. He's a mighty good leader all the way. I think that says it for me that I'm determined this year in 2021 to allow Jesus to lead me. And I'm encouraging every member of Saints community and every onlooker, let's look to the Lord. We need him more than ever. For it's in him that we live and move and have our being. As we come to the close of this service, I want to make just a few important observations. And I uh, want to thank God for missionary Alicia Harris helping us and of course uh, Lady Shirley McAllister what a joy just to have her uh, come before us this morning and share for a few moments with the saints in way of announcements I want you to know that this is fifth Sunday and this is uh, we have designated this as every fifth Sunday as our building fund rally Sunday 
So I'm going to ask that you would be mindful of that. I said a few days ago at the business meeting that on fifth Sunday, whenever they would roll around, we would uh, encourage our members, those that were working, to share a day's pay. And I mentioned the fact that some of the demographics of our church have changed. Some folks have retired now. They're no longer in that category. But if you've made a commitment to the church to share a certain amount this year, I'm going to ask you to begin to work it on that. And everybody can do something and do it as unto the Lord. It continues to take expenses for where we're headed and where we're going. And we just know that God is going to provide for the financial needs of our church. You can give by Giveify, Cash App, you can mail, you can drop off, you can request a mobile pickup, you can use squares, any of those means. Uh, you can give your offering, or if you are sharing your tithes, uh, you can do that to the church. May the Lord bless you for that. Uh, I want to also uh, lift up the fact that uh, so appreciative that a uh, number of folks joined us some days ago at the business meeting but if you didn't get a chance to get your finding my place document or your blessed bottle of oil or your calendar your daily word or word for today or your commitment card drop by our office and pick those things up uh, we're trying to get to set our gauge for ministry this year and just because the pandemic is going on the church has not stopped Saints community is much alive and we're looking at creative ways of how we continue to do ministry. And you're going to be hearing more about that. The uh, couples ministry of our church is even planning something for the very near future and we look forward to that event. Uh, I want to uh, also say as I sort of wrap up that on February the 13th at 1130 I will have a Fresno Metro district setup meeting it will be a zoom meeting and we will make the id available and uh, you of course uh, members of our church and others are welcome to join us during that zoom meeting as we plan and map out the direction that we will go with our district doing this year and then finally my brother and sister i covered your prayers there are many who are uh, going through ailments many who are sick I continue to receive poor reports every day and hear of people that we know and loved ones. Some who passed because of the virus and others have family members who are, in, who are sick in the hospital on ventilators because of COVID. So there's no time to slack up praying. Please continue to join us in our prayer time on, on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 8 to 9 a.m. And that time... That ID number is posted uh, for you. Please remember in your prayer those who uh, are uh, recovering among us. Our brother William McLean, let's continue to hold him in prayer. Our dear missionary, Dr. Geraldine Snowden, let's continue to pray for her. Uh, Mother Marion Watson had a chance to interact with her a few days ago for a few moments. Let's pray for her. Mother Watson. Our brother, Deacon John LeBlanc. Let's continue to lift him in our prayer. And there are probably numerous others, our church mother, Mother Elizabeth Ratcher, and there are probably many others who stand in need of our prayer. Let's continue to pray one for the other. If Jesus felt the need to pray, surely we have the need to pray also. And I know that God will bless us for our faithfulness. I miss all the saints gathering here and Look forward to a time of fellowship when we can uh, begin to uh, return. Uh, but for now, we want you to stay safe, uh, to wash your hands, keep your social distance. And now I'm even suggesting that you wear double masks because uh, of the uh, contagiousness of the uh, virus, a new strain that's coming about. So let's be prayerful. We need God to help us and God to keep us safe. If you have an opportunity to get your vaccine, I would encourage you to do that. I know some don't, uh, you know, and, and I understand. I'm not going to fault anybody if they choose not to. But to, if you choose to, uh, I just know that it could be helpful to you and to your health. Well, I've said enough. Let's, let's pray as I close out 
this service. Gracious God, we thank you for this Women's Day service. Thank you for what we've heard from the word from uh, our guest on this morning. And God, I pray for the women of Saints Community. I pray for the elderly women, the mothers in Zion. I pray for the single parents, women who are raising their children. And I pray, Lord, even for those college students and high school students, those young ladies today. God, would you continue to bless our church. Keep us safe from COVID, God. In the midst of it all, continue to open doors and make ways for us. And we will give you praise and thanks as only we can do to you. For you are a great God and we have much to praise you for. Bless us now in Jesus name. Amen. And as I always say, go with God and God will go with you. Be blessed, Saints community. Love you much, our friends and guests. Thank you for joining us this morning here in our service.